uh, Office Slice has this question, how to best engage their audience? Okay. Office Slice being a brick and mortar business, very traditional business as far as that's concerned. And this is true for, for anybody who has a brick and mortar business, or even a brand. You have to humanize your approach. You can't, if you're, if you're going into social media in 2015 with this mindset of, I'm just gonna create, throw up this social profile, just throw up some content, and just broadcast content all day, every day. That is not how it's gonna work to get any results. I mean, technically you're on these social profiles to get results. That won't get you the results that you want because times they are a changing and you need to evolve and change right along with them. And you really have to humanize your business if you want people to engage with it. So best way to say it is act like a human. Even though you're a business, you're a brick and mortar business, act like a human when you are on your social profiles. Don't be afraid to ask questions directly to the people who are following you or liking your content. This is true on Twitter, this is true on, on the fan page. Generally on your fan page, those are individuals who are already um, familiar with your business on, on a Facebook fan page, generally speaking. On Twitter, you have a great opportunity to introduce your business to new people. Whether, uh, a court, you know, I understand that you want people to be local. So once again, the same advice I, give, I gave to uh, Jamal about doing Twitter searches. Find those people who are local. It'll take you a little bit of time, but it doesn't take all day. Uh, find those people who are local, who can use your business and reach out to them with a friendly hello. Do, uh, do Twitter searches for people who are complaining or uh, are looking for co-working spaces. Find those individuals on Facebook. Finding those individuals on Facebook is gonna be a little bit more difficult because everybody's got their, their settings in place. But you can find those individuals on Twitter a lot easily, especially now with the advanced search. So finding those conversations and introduce yourself to people. Don't do a hard sell up front, but start a conversation, start a dialogue, share an article with them about the benefits of co-working and things of that nature. Start there. Then you can also, once you've developed that kind of relationship, start sharing some content of value. Or you can go to, uh, to some websites like uh, Quora, or uh, American Express Open Forum, and especially on LinkedIn. On LinkedIn, of course, you do have a company page. You're kind of limited in what you can do in a company page. However, the individuals that are running uh, Office Life, from, you have an opportunity to, once again, represent Office Life on a LinkedIn, in an open forum, in a quorum, to tell people, one, about your business, but also to provide answers, to provide content of value. Once you begin acting more like an individual and less like a business in some instances, you'll, you'll begin to develop online relationships and more people will say, oh, okay, I, did, I just spoke with somebody about this very thing and that will help you bring more uh, people that are interested directly in your business and you'll create more engagement. Sometimes you gotta get off Facebook and go other places in order to bring people to Facebook. It's same thing for Twitter too. But at the end of the day, what you really wanna do is you wanna bring people to your website. Facebook and Twitter are cool, but the more content of value you can provide on your website, the better. And then also, speaking of creating a post on Facebook and Twitter, create posts that asks that ask questions. In other words, don't post something that's a yes or no. Post a question on Facebook that requires a lo a longer answer. And when you post it, be sure to tag people. Be sure to uh, mention other businesses. And as you are operating that fan page, 
you need to go on other people's fan pages and comment and like and share. You got to get out of your own backyard if you want to boost engagement. If you want to boost engagement, be engaging. Go other places on Facebook, Twitter. If you're going to start any social, if you're going to have a presence on any platform, you're going to have to act more like a person and less like a business till you develop that kind of human relationship. And then you can start pushing what it is uh, you do and how that individual can benefit from that relationship that you developed online with them and thus boost engagement.